We were just chatting there about Russell Wilson. Let's wrap this up. He looked good. I thought Russell Wilson looked good. He was throwing the ball again. He looked like he had confidence again. They lose. But there's hope that Russell Wilson doesn't suck anymore, right? I mean, I, I think there's definitely well, hope for th that. Th 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 there is hope. I mean, the reality of the situation is the only thing he brought good to Denver with him was Sierra. I mean, the fact of the matter is that it was that damn bad last year. And it, it, there's, so there's no real way to go. But up, he stunk up the joint last year. We know he's a Super Bowl champion. But I think that when it comes to Russell Wilson, a, a lot of people don't don't really, really take this into account, fellas. When Russell Wilson won the Super Bowl, that was fine. When they lost the Super Bowl when Darry Bevel and, 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 and Pete Carroll decided to let him throw the ball over the middle instead of giving it to beast mode at the half yard line after he had gotten him up to that point, I don't think people really, really take into account to really revisiting the divide that that created with the Seattle Seahawks back in the day. The Legion of Boom and others were not turned on by that. Uh, they were never the same. And then ultimately, when the keys to the throne were handed to Russell Wilson, per se, and, and you know, obviously he was more than respectable. We got him to the playoffs continuously and what have you. But he wanted his own franchise. He wanted to be the man officially. So he got that in Denver. And what happens? When he first got there, he stunk up the joint. Not only did he stink up the joint, he had a coach in Nathaniel Hackett, who, as far as I'm concerned, is lucky to have a job right now. I know that Aaron Rodgers, boy, and Aaron Rodgers, to, <laughs> to me, that's a bad man. But Nathaniel Hackett has him to thank for even having a job in the NFL after that atrocity that he put forth in Denver <laughs> last season. And so when you take that into account and the fact that Russell Wilson was a part of that, that Russell Wilson was living by his own rules and really, really feeling himself, there's a lot of making up to do. Making up for it ain't losing 17 to 6. Yeah, it was a little boring. Okay, so, he looked strong, though. Hey, strong yep. arm. He looked strong. He looked strong. But but listen, listen. The bottom line is this. You look strong, too, but you're winning. He's not winning. Okay. Respect. And until he starts winning, then it doesn't matter. So I don't give it. You know, he can look, he can look strong all he wants to. You got to get it done. And 16 points against the Las Vegas Raiders ain't going to cut it. So you can say he looks strong, and I don't disagree with you. He did look relatively good last year, but it's in comparison yeah. to what we saw last season, which was hot garbage. Yeah, we all agree. Those games were terrible to watch, Ooh. tough to watch. I appreciate the compliment. Yeah. A little sunburnt right now, so I think you're seeing a little more vascularity <laughs> from that Alabama <laughs> sun. Speaking of losing games last year, the Denver Broncos did a lot of that. Mm. They bring in Sean Payton. The way he started his tenure – is something I, Rex Ryan said he didn't like it earlier. I didn't get a chance to hear the reasoning. But Sean Payton starts his tenure as the Denver Broncos head coach with the wealthiest owner in sports at home with a surprise onside kick from his kicker, formerly of the New Orleans Saints, a little dribbler to the right. And everybody says with the new rules, you can't do any onside kicks. You can't do surprise onside kicks. Well, they did. They should have got it. A little bit of mm. poor execution. He touches the ball half a yard before the 40 uh 45 yard line ball has to travel 10 yards from kick obviously but i like the fact that that guy right there used to be offense court or Is that special, my no that's special teams coordinator though formerly of the jets wit hoff what uh wim hoff not wim hoff wim? West brother off. Oh. west off west off he's been in the nfl yeah. a thousand years in the special teams world he obviously had a big say of sean kicking that but russell looked good yeah I thought he looked good. His arm looked strong it again. Did. Yeah. Yep. It, last year, his arm, he might have been dealing with an injury that we didn't hear about. Maybe. Because we'll never hear about it. Point, team three would have yeah. told Some, us about something. it. Something. Yeah. No complaint. Oh, being, being, no being fat is an injury. Well, that is something. If he wasn't in as good a shape, his arm wasn't as strong as it had been in the past. Maybe he got a little bit lazy when Mr. Mm -hmm. Unlimited. Unlimited took the trip over to Denver from Seattle after everything that took place. Maybe he wasn't working as hard. Maybe team three, because he got an arm guy he he's did. got a cardio guy he's got two feet guys he's got hand people he had a full team around him maybe they let him slack in and not being as strong mm -hmm. but yesterday he was getting the ball two spots he threw a deep ball that went up to the sky like an old russell wilson one i think if you're a broncos fan it feels like sean payton has brought out a better version of russell wilson as have russell wilson. they don't get the win though aj is that the only thing we should be talking about i mean i guess i think right now it's like a it's not a moral victory, but it's definitely a victory for the Broncos that Russ does kind of have – he looks a little bit like old Russ. He doesn't look like Russ of last year. So we know, okay, this is still possible. He can still play at a very high level. He put together a great first half. We see that. But I love – why would you not be excited about the onside kick to start? What's wrong? What is – Rex think it's too careless or reckless? Uh, I did not hear his exact reasoning. It was just a headline across the bottom. But also, teams that do that are normally desperate. You know, like, you don't <laughs> yeah. think you're a good team. I think Sean Payton was no. just letting everybody know, hey – 
This is how we're playing football, right? Yeah. Trying to win. This is how Will Lutz, the kicker there, formerly at the Saints, misses extra point and field goal. Uh. Not normal for Will Lutz. He's going to have to find his stroke or he's going to be out of a job.